Yara is a space for multi student team from Politecnico in Torino, training engineers of Tremoli. The team is structuring to three departments and three special groups, each with a clear purpose. The mechanics department designs, assembles, and validates for tuning structures and mechanisms. The electronics department creates and integrates PCBs, cable harnesses, and custom firmware. The computer science department develops and maintains Diana software infrastructure and control system. The science group studies Martian geology and prototypes innovative scientific payloads. The management group handles budgeting, scheduling, and procurement to keep everything running smoothly. The visual design studio defines Diana's visual identity, communicating creativity through engaging contact. The system engineering group follows the whole project, from requirements definition to integration and testing, assuring that everything runs smoothly in compliance with ERC rules and requirements. Three transversal groups focus on integration, testing, and operations connect our expertise, making sure Diana works as one unified team. At the top, the Imperium Board, made up of team leader, department leaders, and management leader, guides the project, while the Praetorium Board coordinates activities for seamless collaboration. We are excited to take on ERC 2025. It's more than just a challenge, it's how we put our engineering skills to the test in the real world. ERC pushes us to grow, innovate, and think beyond limits. But it's not only about competing, it's about connecting with ERC experts and future collaborators. This experience is a launch pad for our dreams and we can't wait to make the most of it. We are ready for ERC 2025 to learn, innovate, and build something amazing. Fortuna is the next generation rover and it has the evolution of our previous model, Artico, built with a challenge oriented approach. Fortuna was designed to overcome the limitations of its predecessors. Fortuna is equipped with four driving wheels for efficient navigation, all four wheels have independent steering capabilities, enhancing maneuverability. A sophisticated differential system is housed in the core. This system, made out of carbon fiber tubes, features two topologically optimized pivoting mechanisms, realized with aluminum additive manufacturing technology. Along the differential system, the main onboard computer with control units are stored in an easily interchangeable avionics bay. This allows for in situ reconfiguration with other avionics or fast replacement in case of damages. All the avionics is made to be contained in a 9 new CubeSat form factor. Also, the module integrates the battery system, complete with its dedicated power electronics. This battery is designed for effortless interchangeability, allowing the platform to adapt to different task durations and power consumptions, enhancing the spectrum of task capability. At the heart of Fortuna Electronics, there is a Raspberry Pi 5, acting as the main onboard computer. It communicates with the rover's un unit control through a CAN bus, which is fast, reliable, and well suited for real time robotic applications. All of this runs on Diana Software, our custom full stack robotic framework entirely developed in house by the Computer Science Department. It's made up of several independent microservices that talk to each other using ROS and CAN, and the ground station via MQTT. Each microservice is dedicated to a specific subsystem and exposes its own services to the upper layer of the software stack, so everything stays modular and scalable. But we also wanted the resilience, that's why we included a secondary onboard computer, a Jetson Marin. It handles vision processing from the Z2i stereo camera and runs all our AI algorithms. Both computers are connected to the same CAN bus, so if everything happens to the Raspberry Pi, the Jetson can take over seamlessly. No changes needed. It's a built-in redundancy. For communication with the ground station, we rely on multiple radio frequency systems. We use two different data channels at 43 MHz and 868 MHz. Plus, a Wi-Fi access point that acts as a backup, just in case. This multiple link setups ensures that we always stay connected, even in challenging conditions. We control Fortuna using Arctic, a custom-built standalone web app application. It's a really user-friendly interface that lets the operator organize and access all the rover's operational modules through the system of TAM. It keeps everything clear and accessible. Last year, we also introduced FICO, which allows us to use physical controllers for more intuitive manual control both for the rover and the robotic arm movements. What's great is that both Arctic and FICO can run on pretty much any device, PCs, smartphone, tablets, so that ground crew can stay flexible during operation and tests. Fortuna is equipped with a wide range of sensors, and we use sensor fusion to combine all of the data in real time. We integrate wheel and video odometry, AR tag detection and recognition, IMU data, and when available, Genesis. This multi-source approach gives us highly accurate and reliable pose estimation, which is essential for knowing the rover's exact position and orientation in space. 
Our goal is full autonomous navigation. But if the system detects any issue, Fortuna can smoothly switch back to semi-autonomous mode. Following point to find instruction from operator. And if needed, we can always take full manual control through teleoperations. When it comes to safety, Fortuna relies on a multi-layer system. The first layer is a firmware safety, built in the onboard software. It includes features like automatic timeout and system halt in case of internal malfunction or of a loss of connection. The second layer is distributed, with a custom power management unit that can isolate and shut down specific subsystems independently, so that we don't have to cut power to the whole rover if something goes wrong with just one part. The third layer is the hard safety layer, managed by the battery management system. It monitors current flow during charge and discharge and keeps the wired battery cells balanced. This ensures both performance and protection. And finally, as last resort, there is a finally emergency stop button. It can instantly cut power to the entire rover, either manually or automatically, guaranteeing a complete and immediate stop. This year, Fortuna will have a new companion, Nova, the second generation UAV of the Diana platform. Nova is equipped with advanced avionics and sensors, boosting our operational capabilities, especially in autonomous control. It actually runs the same Diana software as the rover, sharing a lot of the same code base with some parts developed using MATLAB Simulink. It is designed to fly fully autonomously, from takeoff to navigating waypoints and landing precisely within just one liter of the target. What's really cool is its custom design frame created with generative design techniques. This allows Nova to carry a larger battery, which significantly extends its flight time. For tasks that require object manipulation, Fortuna relies on a newly designed version of the Anar, a 6 degree of freedom robotic arm. It has a 5 kilos capacity and it is able to lift and maneuver objects. The arm sending factor is modular, featuring interchangeable 3D printed fingertips, allowing adaptation to diverse tasks and environments. Furthermore, a dedicated analog camera ensures accuracy during manipulation. A camera equipped with object detection and image segmentation software is placed on the end factor. This system empowers the rover to identify features on maintenance panels and can highlight buttons crucial for task completion. This functionality has the potential for future expansion, allowing autonomous panel interaction. The end factor is modular and its fingertips can be changed to adapt to different scenarios. For the surface sampling task, we have dedicated fingertips designed for both regolith and rock collection. The samples will be then stored in an onboard science container where rock and regolith will be weighed and, and stored separately. The load cells have an accuracy of 1 gram. For the sampling task, the rover will be fitted with a deep soil sampler capable of performing extraction up to uh, 30 cm speed while keeping the soil static. The, the electronics of the sampler will be integrated and removed together with the payload to ensure minimum weight when the payload is non laden. For the towing task, the rover will be upfitted with a dedicated onboard container, specifically designed to hold three probes. They are identified by object recognition, responsible for finding artificial probes scattered on the ground or marsyat and saving the ground station in precious time. For the navigation task, Fortuna is capable of precise position tracking by doing sensor fusion between stereo candles to back, wheel odometry, and Aruco markers recognition, all controlled by a Kalman filter. By knowing its position, the rover can autonomously reach the waypoints given. For the astrobiology task, we are working on a new payload that can accurately measure the pH of soil samples and transmit the data in real time to the ground station. At the same time, our science group is actively researching Martian biology and light detection methods, also with input from experts from of the field. All the data we collect together with footage from webcams and 360-degrees cameras mounted at Fortuna, will be saved on board and reviewed right after the task to complete our science report.